Hello again. Today I'm going to talk to you about something a little less uh, uh, usual than I normally do. Now these were something that were originally uh, developed as a joke, but turned out they might be a good way of uh, learning a little mathematics. I'm going to tell you about the relative suck factor and the logarithmic suck factor. And I've got mixed feelings, I guess, about doing this, but my students requested it, and if it's a way to help you learn, we got to try it. All right, relative suck factor was developed, I, I think, by some sales folks at Fender Musical Instruments on a trip overseas. And the idea was, if you want a, a, a metric, a number, that helps you make comparisons between two choices, they develop a relative suck factor. Now, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you're on one of these endless business trips and it's, you need to eat dinner. You can have a very forgettable dinner at some hotel restaurant, and that's okay. Or you can go out into a ci the city you're in and have dinner there. Well, let's say you're in uh, uh, Asia somewhere and the range of food available to you is just huge. It could be anywhere from just wonderful to frankly pretty scary. Um, let's say you wind up at, or you're, you're contemplating to going to one of these kind of scary restaurants that eat that serves things that are very unfamiliar to an American, and things that you might not like really at all. Let's say the restaurant you're contemplating going to is five times worse than the than the average forgettable hotel restaurant. Well, that would give you a relative set factor of five. Okay, that's the possible one possible one over your current choice. Okay, that's five to one. So you get a relative suck factor of five. Now, let's try this another way. Let's say that you're contemplating going to a restaurant that's just phenomenally good, whatever your favorite food is. Yeah, the, the decorations are great, the music's great, the food's great, and it's going to be five times better than what you wind up doing. Well, if that happens, then um, you're going to wind up with 1 over, maybe 1 over 5. So your relative suck factor, rather than being, uh, I'm sorry, 1 over 5, okay, because this is now 5 times worse than that, um, you're going to wind up with a relative suck factor of 0 0.2. The problem with this is it's not linear. The best thing imaginable, um, I don't know, you're going on top of Mount Olympus and eating the food of the gods, you're going to have a relative suck factor of, of uh, well, zero. You're going to have one over infinity. If you have the worst meal ever, your relative suck factor goes up. So this is a very nonlinear scale. As things get better and better, the numbers get smaller and smaller, but they can't ever go negative, and they can't ever go to zero. Right? So, how do you fix this? <laughs> this, is, this is a really stupid measure anyway. So, um, how, do we, how do we fix this? I'm going to fix it by taking a logarithm and making um, something that's kind of silly be mathematical and silly. So, let's try it this way. Rather than relative suck factor, we're going to have... Oops, just making myself enough room. The logarithmic suck factor. We'll call that LSF rather than RSF. Okay, so we're, we're, rather than this possible over the current by itself, we'll take the base 10 log Okay, and that's possible over current maybe undesirability. In American slang, that would be the relative suckiness of the two, those two possibilities. So, take the, the, the idea of the two restaurants we just talked about. Let's say you were going to go out into a, to a restaurant in a city somewhere and it was going to serve um, perhaps good food, but something very unusual, very, something not at all tuned to an American palate. And you think that that restaurant would be five times worse than uh, staying at the hotel. Well, that's going to be base 10 log of 5 over 1, and that's going to be like 0 0.699. All right? Well, okay. Let's take another possibility now. Let's say that the uh, uh, possible restaurant you're going to is much more desirable 
than the restaurant you were going to stay at at the hotel or go eat at at the hotel. And so this is bad. Well, this this is this is an undesirable choice. That's a bad choice. Okay. So for a good choice, and I'll get out of your way here in a second. Okay. Where we're going to go to this wonderful restaurant that serves your favorite food. Let's say uh, I like sushi. So let's say it's just the best sushi in the world, and there's going to be great music and great environment. The waiters and the waitresses are all going to be, you know, efficient and polite and friendly. Everything's great, and it's going to be five times better than just eating at the hotel. Well, now I'm going to have a base 10 log of 1 over 5, and I'm going to get minus 0.699. Okay, now my scale is linear. So the good choice is a negative suck fact, logarithmic suck factor, and the bad choice is a positive logarithmic suck factor. Now, um, if you have a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, potential choice is 10 times worse. Well, base 10 log of 10 is 1. So your logarithmic suck factor would be 1. And let's say your possible choice is 10 times better than your uh, default choice. That would be 0.1, and it gives you a logarithmic suck factor of minus 1. So what you get, your practical range, I can't believe I'm doing this, the practical range of LSF is minus 1 to 1. That gives you a, a scale of, of allowing your current choice to be 10 times worse or 10 times better than uh, your possible choice. Uh, we could, could go outside of that, but practically speaking, an LSF of minus 1 to 1 is about it, um, in my view. Now, the, as goofy as this is, the thing that makes this worth looking at and mathematically valuable is the fact you're taking a logarithm to turn something that's nonlinear into something that's linear. And when you're measuring things, when you're trying to develop metrics, linearity is a good thing. Okay? Ten times uh, worse, ten times better. Well, five to one and one to five, those are okay, but that's five and that's point two. Eh, not so good. Take the logarithm and you get 0.699 minus 6.9. Now I've got a linear scale I can work with. So there you go. You heard it here first. That's logarithmic suck factor.